Okay, so currently we're inside the Pinnacle Cart Cart Designer, and we want to check out the. Uh, let's go activate our Cart Designer real quick. We're using 3.7.8 uh, release 750. So if you haven't upgraded your cart, uh, definitely do so. There's some features in here that you don't get in the older features. Um, but primarily the changes to the the uh, one page checkout, which are really nice and uh, and should increase your conversions. Uh, so when we're in inside the cart, the cart here, we're looking at the, at the layout tab. On this specific layout tab, you can change the overall width of your site. You can say make it 100% stretched uh, on the page, uh, and that will stretch everything out. Uh, you can set it to 800 by 600, which in this instance, our, our banner, our header image is wider than 600 pixels, so it's going to bump it down here. So that doesn't work for us. And obviously, you can center it there, left the line. We want to we go to 1024 by 768 centered, uh, and that's will fits our design nicely. So we could change these on an ongoing basis if we wanted to change the look and the feel of our site. Uh, normally, obviously, you've got a, a line left and a, a 1280 by 1024. Most monitors come out of the box at 12, uh, 1024 by 768, depending upon the size of the monitor, obviously. Uh, but most of them come out of that as their default uh, settings. So uh, you know, it's up to you whether you want to uh, align it left with the 1024 by 768, or you can obviously go back to align centered very easily and then hit save and uh, it'll save the whole thing. In this video, we want to jump through all these different settings here on the layout tab. So we've got the catalog settings, and this allows you to obviously align your catalog pages. And let's go take a look at a catalog page here real quick. We'll just close this. Let's go to click through into a catalog page. And here's the layout on our existing catalog pages. Once you click into the category, um, we've got a, a one column with multiple rows. And so if we change this in the layout, a catalog setting you can see currently this is the one we have selected thumbnails single column so if we wanted to do a double column we could take a look and see once we have our all of our products in we can say okay well, let's take a look and see how that layout looks let's save that and then we'll close and then save it here again and we want to apply it on all the pages so save it there and then we go back and preview the actual cart the live website and you can see the change has occurred We've got the, the title here and the layout difference. So uh, depending upon what kind of products you sell, obviously, is to kind of define what type of layout works best for you uh, or what you prefer as well. So, uh, But that's how simple it is to change the layout on your site on the fly using the cart designer and the simple catalog setting here. We could change that again and say, let's get a two-column box view and see what that looks like um, and save it there and close and then uh, go back and preview review it and take a look and see what that looks like. So here's what a box layout looks like. We got our, our short description in. That's not too bad. That's pretty clean. So again, come back and play with it once you have your products in uh, and you can adjust your layout as you go moving forward using this really simple uh, catalog view. Uh, three columns isn't going to work for us because our products are a little bit big. Our images are big. So if you've got smaller thumbnails, that might work for you. And then in addition to that, you have these other settings down here. So you can say list the products by the newest uh, to the system, the ones that you've put in recently. You can set a priority, obviously, on the product level uh, and put those products uh, from 1 to 10. You can list them alphabetically. You can have a default listing of prices um, highest to lowest. Now, remember, too, that up here on the right, you have uh, this as well. So that the consumer is going to be able to um, sort things, pardon me, by new arrival, name, highest price, and lowest as well. So that's a great feature, too. So you can preemptively do that for the consumer. Uh, by giving them, you know, showing them uh, a default sorting, so to speak, when they land on your page. And then obviously products on page and page numbers down at the bottom. Uh, and those are reflective uh, down here. Where we've got multiple pages of products uh, with a lot of products in this specific category. And this is where we would set those um, pages uh, number in the navigation bar and display subcategory products in primary category. Yes, we happen to not have any subcategory products, but this is where you would choose to do that or not. And then you, you can choose whether or not to, to display the product IDs on the catalog pages. So uh, that's the, the catalog editor, if you will, on, as far as layout is concerned. Again, you can go ahead and play any of these and preview them ahead of time before you settle on a final layout for your uh, website. And I uh, hope that was helpful.